Welcome to Tune In Tuesday, where every Tuesday I continue a piece for my upcoming show, Overtone, Shattering Silence. It's a 17-piece series, and this is piece number 14. Tuesdays I shared the inside of my healing journey with colors, so this week I'm using Auburn and Brown. You also see me add some dirt in here too. If you'd like to learn more about the healing potential with using the color Auburn and Brown, check out the description box below to follow the link to Mix It Up Monday Earth using Auburn and Brown. So when I learned about the universal intelligence part of the Auburn color, I when I went down my healing journey with this color, I immediately started seeing um, the world kind of grinding off, the world finding love and everyone in sync, and um, I immediately started having flashes of just this giant world feast, like all, I don't know, I guess in my head we were just all eating together at the same time, um, taking good breaths and just enjoying laughter, and just when you're at a good family event where you're enjoying each other's company. Um, and to me that made me feel grounded because if you start thinking too far outside of your own comfort space it can become pretty overwhelming. Um, but I have to continue to walk through spaces outside of myself um, every day which is really important to thrive in this world. So Auburn kind of sent me down that path. It was immediately accompanied with brown, of course, which allowed me to establish my boundaries. So even though I'm out in this world and I'm wanting to take it all in and see how I can adjust my perspective on things or how I can use my perspective on things to, um, to move through it daily, I also have to make sure I, I establish my boundaries while doing that. Um, I wanted to make sure that when I engaged in the world or in life or around my thought, around my community, I was engaging with the purpose. Um, even if it was as simple as giving a hug or picking up trash or um, just being that silent energy that people watch her, um, that silent head nod of the next person seeing the same, same thing that you do and it's just that silent connection. Um, I wanted to make sure that my purpose was there and that there was a reason for that time and moment and yes I'm staying vague because there's so many examples of these opportunities but it's I guess overall it's just taking the opportunity, taking the opportunity with that outside of myself, even though I'm creating boundaries, I can know who I am and still take risk or still take an opportunity. Not every moment is going to go as well as I think and sometimes there's no thought, I'm just kind of doing and um, following my, my guides as I'm going, um, which I believe that's just the universal intelligence that I'm following and just staying patient and understanding um, that there will be a balanced perspective and that if I am leading with the respect for myself, the values I've created for myself and self-love and reflecting that to my community, um, my surroundings, that um, there's a saying that those will be reflected back to you. Um, which it gets tricky talking about what you see as a reflection of yourself. I kind of go back and forth with that. Um, I also believe a reflection can be a possibility of what that could be of you, or maybe you are a reflection for that person to see, and maybe that's what you're there to do, is to hold space for the opportunity that that person could have. So it's just, again, being pretty vague about um, this healing journey that I went through with these colors just because I felt like it was more of a silent connection for me more than it was words. Um, I felt like it was a silent understanding 
um, that was just being shared within me and I just kind of accepted it as like that right place right time kind of feeling you know when you get lucky and you weren't supposed to be there but you end up being there and then something really lucky happened I don't know if that's ever happened to you but it's kind of how I took this approach with Auburn and Brown it felt like it was a very silent communication I had with myself but not a silent communication that I was unfamiliar with it was just something I needed to hold on to more and to allow the space for those opportunities to become more prevalent in my life and I feel like by making sure that I was grounded and that I knew my boundaries and who I was as a person that these opportunities were ultimately there for me and opportunities in regards to what takes me down my path and my path of joy my path of peace um, my path of wisdom um, just kind of the infinite power power and intelligence that i hold within my being and how i can share that with my community um, on a day-to-day -day basis Thank you for joining me today. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I give away a color study each week. Um, you may have seen that in my Finish It Up Friday videos. Each week I paint a color study to go with my canvas, so this week's color will be brown. All you have to do is on my Instagram story, show a little love, and that automatically enters you into the color study giveaway. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to follow me on this journey and ring the bell for notification. Like for this Friday's video, finish it up Friday Earth. Thank you again for watching. See you then.